evidence support files ESF3, normal versus exponential. We continue our series of presentations focusing on individual points to a level that is sufficiently clear and basic as to support court cases as required. Note to censors, we use only government data. If you have a problem with the results, speak to the government. We continue with the exponential to illustrate the key topics of humped curves and the normal curve, aka normal distribution. In this presentation we discuss the normal curve. We've already seen this chart from Per Ferguson's Imperial College COVID-19 Response Team Report 9 and we've noted that it isn't climbing to heaven, exponential. It is humped, essentially normal, normal distribution. Maybe Ferguson got it wrong and typical contagions do in fact climb until everyone in a country is infected and many die. If we do a search on Google for epidemic data charts, what kind of charts do we find? A coronavirus infographic from Our World in Data. Humped. Normal versus exponential. Will it examine the accuracy of the normal versus gone ports, log normal, etc.? Likely in due course. For now, the main thing is the classic humped curve. Not exponential. SARS from WHO, World Health Organization. Site down for maintenance, itself a bit worrying, so we can't post a tidy URL. Nevertheless, multiple humped curves, not climbing to heaven, not exponential. Cholera from sphweb.something, bumc.bu.edu, whoever that might be, humped, strongly skewed, but humped, not climbing to heaven, not exponential. Ebola, researchgate.net, again, multiple humped curves, broadly symmetric, humped, not climbing to heaven not exponential. F1000 Research, Epidemic Simulator, humped, slightly asymmetric, but humped, not climbing to heaven, not exponential. HBR.org, appropriate the article, which COVID-19 data can you trust? Just an infographic, but they're clearly expecting a normal or quasi-normal humped curve, not an exponential climbing to heaven. CBS, our world in data, flattening the curve. Quite clearly, they're expecting a humped, symmetrical curve, not a line climbing to heaven. Normal, humped, not exponential. Guardian, UK, 1918, influenza. Multiple humped curves, broadly symmetrical, humped, not climbing to heaven, not exponential. Theconversation.com, 1918, influenza. Multiple humped, near symmetrical curves, normal, humped, not climbing to heaven, not exponential. Businessinsider.com, COVID-19, South Korea, humped, normal, not climbing to heaven. The climbing line is the total chart or cumulative curve. We'll distinguish that anon. The key is the daily chart, humped, not exponential. Thinkadvisor.com, CDC, seasonal flu and pneumonia. Every year, humped, symmetrical, not climbing to heaven, normal, not exponential. Over and over again, do your own search. If you find any contagion ever that managed to overwhelm any nation in a straight line on log scales, exponential, not stopping till every human was afflicted, do let us know. COVID, Ebola, SARS, infographics, Ferguson's for heaven's sake, all propose, expect or reveal humped curves, not curves climbing to heaven. Normal, not exponential. Yet what do the media, scientists and the government put out, now enshrining it as official government policy? Exponential continues growing at the current rate equals exponential. Exponential! Cases and deaths climbing at a constant rate. A scary figure. And what happens if we do nothing? Implied it just keeps going higher and higher. Reality, it dies off of its own accord. They all do. Yes, but hospitals will be overwhelmed. They might be, but at Ferguson's level figures. But it's a funny thing. The real world and Ferguson's chart are totally unconnected. His chart is unconnected even with his own paper. But that's another story. While governments are preaching flattening the curve, another topic, and the necessity for lockdown that had no effect but killed a lot of people, another topic, the contagions go up and come down, as contagions always do. But here's the kicker. If the government can implement emergency measures as the contagion is going up, and then the contagion comes back down, 
what can the government do? Claim success. And that's precisely what the government has done. And not content to withdraw into the background, Ferguson claims 470,000 lives saved in Britain. Why? His 510,000 predicted, minus the 40,000 actual, equals 470,000. It's amazing. To save millions of lives, all you have to do is predict the deaths of millions, and when that doesn't occur, look how many lives you've saved. If it wasn't the greatest criminal fraud perpetrated on the peoples of the world, it would be laughable. More worrying still, most people have no idea they've been lied to. Yet how difficult is this? These charts aren't climbing to heaven. There is no seasonal flu lockdown. There is no, no seasonal flu mask wearing. Even the vaccine is optional and only moderately effective. Think about that. A hundred years of flu and science still doesn't have an effective vaccine and has not eliminated the flu. Yet they'll have an effective COVID vaccine first time and eradicate COVID. Sure. So think about it, go do a search, and the final word should go to William Farr, 1840, as cited by Wikipedia. He showed that during the smallpox epidemic, a plot of the number of deaths per quarter followed a roughly bell-shaped or normal curve, and that recent epidemics of other diseases had followed a similar pattern. In other words, exactly as you've seen here, COVID, SARS, Ebola, 1918 flu, seasonal flu models, infographics, all normal, all humped, all the classic bell curve as far remarked nearly 200 years ago. And yet in the greatest devolution in scientific history, renowned medical schools, scientists and governments are reverting from science to propaganda and myth and conveniently for the agenda, exponential is a very scary myth indeed. That's it for now. I'm Andrew Mather, a 60-year-old Brit, mathematician, financier, technologist, husband, biker, pilot, healer, whatever. Feel free to get in touch. Andrew at peerlessreads.com or andrew at either should get to me.